hello guys in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create multiple choice quiz using Google Forms so let's go and with this quiz you can score automatically you can score your student automatically so let's go straight to Google Forms Then you click here so we are here now you click this forms go to Google forms so we want to create a quiz that is blank a blank quiz so you check here click this then let's say you name of you name your quiz let's say this is um, biology quiz biology quiz so over here let's say check you can write any description check checking your understanding understanding of digestive system digestive system so let's go so this is our first question the title is let's say which of the following is the odd one is the odd one so the first option is let's say lungs then to add another option you click here then click add option then let's say heart then to add another option you click here then the third option is let's say Mm. Pancreas, pancreas. Then let me say this one is gullet, gullet. Let me change this one to Duodenum. 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 Okay. So this is our first question. Now we need to add our answer key. So you click here. Now you check the one which is the correct answer. Okay, this one, in this case, the, the odd one is hat. Because all these are for the digestive system so now you have to add a score so you want it to be a score of one to so check that now if you want to give a feedback after the the student choose the wrong answer or an explanation after the student submitted the quiz you can click here add feedback then you come to correct answers then you explain the correct answer is correct answer is hard because then you give your explanation then you save this now you can also add a link to a file that contains the explanation or a video link so you check you click here save now um, to add another question you just click here okay so by default we have multiple choice here you can check change this if you want a short answer just click here so you click here to get a short answer but we are just dealing with this for now now this is another question so you just click then 
the breakdown of food into smaller units the breaking down of food into absorbable units I don't have anything like this. Let me check. Uh -huh. So let me use smaller unit. Smaller unit to be absorbed into the blood stream. It's timed. So you add your options. Let's say respiration. Then we have you add another option. So we have digestion. Add another option. Then we have let's say expiration. Let's say another option inhalation. So repeat the same process. Answer key, then choose the correct answer. The point is already allotted. Done. So you can repeat the same process to add all your questions. So let me, you can duplicate the question, duplicate this. Then you modify the question here. Okay. Modify this question to see your answer here. So you can modify this to suit your answer that you want. So now let's say now let, let me So one choose the odd one. So we set another question here with the same answer, be the correct one. So I'm just showing you something how to duplicate a question. Then also, you can move this around. You can move this to the top or down if you want. So that's it. Now we are done setting your questions. So we have a total of three points. Now let's go. You can customize the theme by clicking here so you can choose an image let me choose this then a background color you can change it then you can also change the same color over here now Let's go to the settings. Let's go to the settings. Over here, you can limit the student to only one response or edit after submit. If you want to, if you want the respondent to edit after submission, you check here or see the summary charts. Then let's come here. If you want to collect emails, you check here. Then the presentation. If you want to shuffle the question under, you check want the progress bar to be shown you check here then let's come here so if you want for the student to see their score after submission immediately you check here now you have other options here 
if you, want, if you want them to see their scores or the correct answers then you save this so let's go to our preview preview you click here so let's see so the first one if you want if you check the required the student must enter their email so let's say this is digestion then this is let's say this we choose it wrongly then this one too let's say the answer is hard then after that you submit submit okay so student can now view their scores and view their score view score so the students had two out of three you can see the correct answers and the one that are not correct and also if you add an explanation or a feedback you can see that so let's go back so now you can see the responses here you can check there and see who responded the emails will be collected if you check that option then you want to share this just click send if you want to see the link for sharing then you click here then you can shorten this and copy the link and use it for whatever you want to do so that is how you create a multiple choice quiz using Google form and it is free of charge Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you are on my channel and you can still see this button red, then it means you are not yet subscribed to my channel you just have to click this button and click the notification icon the bell icon then click all so that anytime i upload a new video you get a notification thanks for your subscription